Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. A new update video here on HBAR Hedera. At the moment, we are breaking to the downside here after a confirmed bearish RSI divergence here on the daily time frame. What is the critical support to hold for HBAR and are we still bullish? I will discuss all of that in this very important video. Before we start, like the video and if you want to take your trading towards the next level, then you should definitely check out my trade signal group. The link is in the description. I'm trading most of my altcoins on BitGet. BitGet is a non on KYC exchange if you use my link in the description to sign up an account you can claim up to five thousand US dollars in bonus rewards and also 15% discount on all your trading fees so check that out so this is the daily time frame here for HBAR Hedera and for the new subscribers just a very quick overview here HBAR was in a very strong bear market basically from of uh, September 2021 when HBAR was trading at around 58 cents we moved down very impulsively here all the way down to our 3.5 cents i think the bear market low for h bar is already in here i don't see us breaking this level anymore uh, we also broke above a very in important downward sloping resistance line which was also holding the price back here from off the all-time high we got several touch points on this line as you can see and recently we broke out of it we haven't tested it back as support but we broke out of it and we have officially broken the downtrend here for H bar. Uh, yeah, pretty interesting things here on the chart. I can clearly see five waves here from off the low. So let me show you what I mean. So from off the bear market low, we moved up here in wave one, came down in wave two, moved up in the three, four and five. This could be the completion of a larger Elliott wave one. If that is the case, guys, then we could expect a more deeper pullback for H bar. So this could be a wave one. We are right now coming down in a wave to and so on so yeah what if this is the case i'm not saying that this is the case but what if this is the case where can we head towards then let's actually calculate that so if this wave one was already completed for h bar then we could go all the way down as low as 5.9 cents all the way down towards 5.2 cents that's the area i'm then looking for accumulation here for h bar uh, but yeah at the moment guys there is no guarantee that this structure is already completed as a matter of fact i still have the feeling um it's not based on facts but i have the feeling uh if i look at the rest of the crypto space that we will at least see one more high for h bar here in the yeah short to medium term perhaps towards a 10.3 cent level um this could still be something else in terms of an Elliott wave count. There are several possibilities, but I labeled out the, the different risks here for you guys in the last few days. A lot of people were not taking it very seriously, but if you look at the daily RSI, you can clearly see this lower high structure forming while the price was creating higher highs. So always when you see these kind of bearish divergences on such a high time frame as the daily time frame, you should definitely take it seriously because usually around this stem to leads to a pull back for h bar so yeah what is the critical support for h bar below us if we drop slightly lower from off this point um, actually we have this trend line here uh, which is also coming in play at around the 7 cent region and, and if we drop slightly lower there is a very strong FIP level here the 0.236 at 6.8 cents so if we drop lower then do expect this region to provide a lot of support if we go higher from of this point then I do expect us to go towards a 10.3 cent region in terms of the momentum momentum is pushing to the downside here on the daily time frame after a confirmed sell signal uh, stock as the car size still heading down here not yet oversold and MACD indicator also trending down after a confirmed bearish crossover on the 20th of February so momentum is pushing down here on this chart so it wouldn't room uh it wouldn't surprise me if we will come down slightly lower here for H bar in the short term. Let's also take a look at the four hourly time frame as well. So this is the four hourly time frame for H bar and let's take a look at the indicators momentum still trending down here but we are oversold on the four hourly time frame which basically means that the downside potential is extremely limited in the imminent short term stochastic RSI already completely oversold and is heading back up MACD indicator also completely oversold and it looks like the histogram is turning white again so in the imminent short term there is some support here um what we also can say guys is that this here from of this pivot point here this was a one two possibly a three we are right now coming down in a four that is all possible this micro counting so yeah it's a little bit hard to do but we have already broken this low here of 
the 13th of February. So yeah, there is a chance of getting some kind of a relief rally here towards the upside or perhaps maybe a reversal back towards 10 cent. That's all possible in the short term. Um, I'm, I'm talking about a daily time frame. There is a lot of risk that we will eventually break down further. So just be aware of that if you are investing or trading HBAR. Uh, it's not the best chart at the moment to trade in my opinion, but of course I'm not a financial advisor. Always do your further research before investing into the market. So yeah, what I'm personally doing here, I'm not doing anything actually. Uh, I took already my profits here around the nine to 10 cent region. And if we drop lower, let's say to that seven cent, I'm starting to buy a little bit more H bar, but at the moment I'm doing nothing. Um, I'm staying away from this chart. I'm also not buying for the long term. I still, I'm still going to wait for a deeper pullback. And if that's not going to happen, then I'm just sitting it out with my bag of H bar. So yeah, that's my quick analysis. Please like the video, subscribe to my channel. I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next H bar video. Bye bye.